Justin, to CNN, a rare rebuke of the president by a sitting federal judge. He unleashes and flat out calls President Trump a, quote, attacker against the courts. So let's go straight to Ariane DeVogue for the details. And Ariane, what did the judge say? Brooke, this is pretty unprecedented. This is a broad swipe at the president by a sitting federal judge. The judge is an Obama nominee. Uh, his name is Carlton Reeves. Uh, he sits on a district court in Mississippi, and he was giving a speech yesterday. He was accepting an award at the University of Virginia, and he gave a very long speech, and he basically accused the president of launching an attack on judges. And he really doesn't use the president's name a lot, but what he does throughout the speech is quote from the president's tweets and there have been a lot over uh, the months where the president has called out certain judge judges for rulings he doesn't like and this judge also he mentions judge curiel you remember early in the administration president trump didn't like uh, a ruling by a judge who sits in california it's an american judge and the president pointed out that the man was from mexican heritage so this judge talks about that and finally he talks about the nomination process. He says that President Trump is not uh, is nominating um, almost 90 percent uh, uh, white judges. Take a listen. It's a really strong delivery, and you can hear some of it here. When lawmakers say we should get rid of our judges, you can hear segregationist senators writing bills to strip our courts of their power. And when the executive branch calls our courts and their work stupid horrible, ridiculous, incompetent, a laughing stock, and a complete and total disgrace, you can hear the slurs and threats of executives like George Wallace echoing into the present. I know what I heard when federal judge was called very biased and unfair because he is of Mexican heritage. When that judge's ethnicity was said to present to prevent his issuing fair rulings, when that judge was called a hater simply because he is Latino, I heard the words of James Eastland, a race-baiting politician empowered by the falsehood of white supremacy, questioning the judicial temperament of a man solely because of the color of his skin. I heard those words, and I did not know if I was in 1967 or 2017. This false seed is being sown across this country, from Mississippi to Virginia. I know because I'm here. The proof is in my mailbox. In countless letters of hatred, I've, I've been called a piece of garbage, an arrogant, pompous piece of and you fill in the rest. <laughs> this may not be appropriate for children. <laughs> a disgrace, an asshole who will burn in hell, and the embodiment of Satan himself. Brooke, you just don't often hear a sitting judge talking like that. And we know that the judiciary has been very bothered by some of the things Trump has said. We know that he even got into a spat with Chief Justice John Roberts when the president called a certain judge an Obama judge. And um, Roberts issued this rare statement saying, we're not Obama judges or Clinton judges or Bush judges. But this seems to have reached a new boiling, uh, boiling part here. And this judge's comments, Brooke, are really, really unprecedented. Stunning, his candor. Imagine what else is in his inbox. Ariane DeVogue and so many others around the country. Thank you for sharing that.